Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you this Nintendo Switch Pro. You can see motion controls working. So basically it's an extra large Nintendo Switch with a 1080p screen and the screen itself is over 10 inches so it's a lot bigger. So if you're interested in it I'm going to show you basically how it works, a few pictures of how it was put together and then I'm going to show you around it and do a little bit of gameplay at the end. Okay, so here we have the setup for the Nintendo Switch Pro. So we've got a broken Nintendo Switch. This one doesn't display, can't be fixed because the connector for the ribbon cable isn't working properly. As well as that, there's issues with the Joy-Con connectors on the inside as well. But if you have a listen, you can see it is actually working but you just can't see anything so really it's a useless switch but it still works in docked mode so let's plug it into here and then I'm going to show you the setup that we're going to be using there we go so you can see it's up on screen there now right so out of this we're going to have a portable dock the portable dock has to be powered by a power bank also the monitor itself needs to be powered via a power bank. So what I've got is inside here I've got a dual outlet power bank. So that's what I'm going to be connecting this to. So this one here will not be needed. So basically it's an anchor power bank with two outlets. One to power the dock and one to power the monitor itself. Then of course we need to have the Joy-Cons connected. And we want the Joy-Cons to be releasable as well. So if you have a look here I can release these ones. But the problem is, when you have a docked Nintendo Switch, the Joy-Cons do not work when they're attached to the Switch itself. So they're going to have to work wirelessly. But when they work wirelessly, you're not going to be able to charge them. And unless you're going to buy a separate device, which you can do, you're not going to be able to charge these Joy-Con controllers here. So what I've done is, I've got these little cases here that actually charge up the controller and make them slightly bigger as well so they're going to be slightly easier to hold when they're on the side of the Switch Pro and I'm powering these via the portable dock here so now what will happen is not only are they charging they're also working wirelessly as well so you can see there that they're charging up now obviously we need to condense all this and fit it into the case. So that's where the work's going to be. Basically, I'm going to be stripping this down completely, getting rid of the screen, getting rid of all the casing, and just having the motherboard. I'm going to strip it down as much as I possibly can to save weight and also fit it in here. And the same goes for the dock and everything else as well. And then we're going to have to shorten up the cables and get it all to fit. And hopefully, then, that will be the Nintendo Switch Pro working. So I'm going to take a few pictures along the way and hopefully I think it should come out pretty good. Okay, so here we have the parts of the switch that we actually need. So you can see it's all very small and lightweight once we take away the screen. Now, annoyingly, we still have to have the battery connected. If I was to put the dock straight in here and disconnect the battery, then it stops working. So it might be possible to use a smaller battery because remember, we're gonna be using this dual outlet power bank here, but for this, version anyway, I'm just going to be sticking with the proper Nintendo Switch battery. Okay, we are all finished now, and I'm quite happy with the end result. So we have the homemade mini here, we've got the standard Switch from Nintendo here, and now up here we have the Switch Pro. Again, a homemade job, or you could call it an extra large, whatever you want. So this is the size difference here, you can see. There we go, that's the difference between them all. So this Pro at the back is considerably bigger than the actual Switch. The 
screen is just over 10 inches. But you know, for a prototype and the first version of it, I'm happy with how it's come out. Now, I have already done Switch Extra Large in the past, but they've been a different affair where you dock the Switch at the back or where things are stuck onto the back. This is the first time where I've actually dismantled the Switch and only put in the parts that are needed to make this project work. And I'm quite happy with it. Remember, it's a prototype. Not a huge amount of money was spent on it. Basically, well, I didn't have to spend anything. I just used what I already had around the house, so a broken switch, and this monitor here. But I think it's come out pretty good. Now, to turn it on, we have to turn on the monitor here, and we have to press this little Nintendo switch at the back. There's a little button underneath here, so if you listen, you can just hear a tiny little click, and then in a few seconds, it will come on here. There we go. Now just liven up the Joy-Cons, because remember they're working wirelessly. And there we go, we are now into the Switch. Now I will show you some gameplay at the end with the lights not shining right on it, so you'll be able to see it better. But if you have a look here, you can see that the controllers are charging. There we go. Yeah. And if we were to un take them off the back here, so a bit hard to do one-handed. There we go. Can you now see? that it's not charging, plug it in, and now it's charging. Switch isn't charging at the moment because it's fully charged. If you have a look up here, you can see 100%. So what will happen is, when the Joy-Cons here are fully charged, because I have been using it with the grey ones down there, these will also go to a solid black one there. So uh, yeah, screen looks good and everything. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Now the big downside of this is the added weight. So what I particularly like about the Switch Mini down here is it's so light. This is only 400 grams. This is 275 grams, so a lot less. But now when we come to act this one here, it does weigh over a thousand grams because it's got a huge battery on the inside. Good news is though, battery life I haven't measured it fully yet. I'm estimating it is going to be at around four hours. Right, okay. If you have a look here, you can see there 1068. So it's not light, so you're going to have to play it slightly differently, more resting on your lap. But uh, it is, it's actually quite comfortable like that. So it's never going to be as comfortable as the normal Switch or the Switch Mini. But then the bonus is that you've got a nice big screen to look at. So now to swap the Joy-Cons over, it's really simple. All we have to do is press this little button at the back here. Can you see there's a little button here and a little button here? So we just press that and then we just ease the Joy-Cons out. And then we can plug in our other ones just to show you what it looks like with grey. I think it looks better with grey. And now if we go down to controllers, you can now see that these two are charging and these two are no longer charging and we can just turn them off. There we go, and that's now actually gone to fully charge because these are the ones I've been using all the time. So they've been charging up constantly. So obviously your battery is going to wear down quicker when everything needs charging, but once they're all charged, then it's going to be maintained at the full charge until the anchor power bank at the back wears down. Right, let me just show you all the buttons working. Okay, so that's that, and I'll just quickly show the control sticks. So as you can see it works just like a normal switch and obviously motion control and everything will work because they're working via the actual controllers here themselves. So really that is about all I need to show you. I'll just quickly show you the uh, game card. So out here we can unplug our game card and then we can plug it in. And if you have a look at the moment without anything in you can see it's not recognising it. Plug it in and now it recognises it. Right, okay, I think I'll show you a little bit of gameplay and then you can put down in the comments what you think of it. One good thing about this is, it is going to be better for when you want to do tabletop mode. So for example now, 
is going to be a nicer screen to look at if two players were playing. You can take your Joy-Cons off, still play it just like a normal Switch, but in tabletop mode this is going to look better than this one here. Now I didn't incorporate a kickstand into the back, maybe on a Mark II version that could be done. And just to show you that the monitor is working at 1080p, if you have a look here, you can see it says here 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz. Now if you're wondering how to charge it up once the power bank goes flat on the inside, well I've got a USB cable here. So this one runs to a micro USB that plugs straight in to the anchor power bank. So all we have to do is plug this into a USB power supply and it will charge up. Now if I was doing another version, what I would do is I would terminate this in a female USB. So then we could just use a separate cable and plug it straight in. It would be a neater job, but this still works. Right, let me show you that gameplay now. Now I forgot to show you earlier that I have got a little micro SD card in it. You can see it's there. So when I was taking the pictures off the build, I actually completely forgot about that until I was just about to finish up. Then I remembered I forgot the SD card. So I had to dismantle quite a bit again to put that in. Right, okay, let's, uh, let's start playing something. So there we have it, that is the Nintendo Switch Pro. Tell me what you think about it, tell me if you think it's good, tell me if you think it's rubbish. Let me know what you think might be good on the Mark II version. But for the Mark I, I'm more than happy with that. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more how-to videos, trying to fix videos and weird videos like this. Thanks so much for watching, take care, bye now.